Hey, hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so in this uh, lesson, I'm going to teach you how to uh, move, how to rotate, and how to scale your objects here in Navisworks. So meaning to say, no need for you to go to Revit or AutoCAD just to uh, change or edit your model. Okay, you can basically do the no the modification here in Navisworks. Okay, so to get started, so I'm going to open the sample exercise file here so that you can also follow. So I go ahead and select sample files. And then I'm going to look for a simple model, which is the gatehouse. All right, so I want you to use the gatehouse underscore pub dot nwd because you just need to select here open. Okay, it's a pretty simple model for this exercise. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to move an object here in Navisworks, how to transform it. Okay. So to do that, so let's say for example, okay, so using the orbit tool, okay, I want to move this object here, okay? I want to move this somewhere here, okay? So what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to select the select tool, and then I'm going to pick this uh, poly mesh object, and then I'm going to override the transparency so from my previous exercise i have taught you how to override the transparency okay let me just change it somewhere here just enough for me to be able to see the object then i just click outside so there's the object that i want but if you're going to select that so you need to tilt it using the orbit okay then you can use the select tool then you can pick now the object or any object that you want to move Okay, so this now the it's already selected. So what I'm going to do next is after you select the object, you will notice you'll be having here the item tools tab. Okay, it's color green. So it's like in Revit, you call it contextual tab. So if I click the items uh, item tools, it will show you here the transform panel. So you can now see here the move, rotate, and scale. So let's go ahead and select the move tool here. So I'm going to select this. After you select, you will notice the gi uh, gizmo will appear. Okay, so what will happen is if you hover your pointer along the red gizmo, it will turn to yellow. So meaning you can move this object to this direction, forward, back. So if I hover my pointer to the green gizmo, so I can move it left and right. If I hover my pointer to the blue gizmo, it, I can move it up and down. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to move it here. So I hover my pointer to the green gizmo, and then I'm going to drag it. There you go. Okay. Right. So basically, you can actually move an object here in Navisworks instead of going to other software like Revit or uh, AutoCAD. Okay, so I can move my pointer to that direction. I can move it up and down. Okay, so that's how you modify your element by moving it. Okay, so another way is rotating. Okay, by the way, if you want to return it back, for example, you already mess up the drawing and then you want to... Uh, turn it back to its default location so you can actually right click the object that you have messed up and then from here you can see reset item then you can select here reset transform okay just click that one so you will notice it will return back to its original position okay now for the ro rotate so i'm going to uh, uh let me just use that door there so for me to be able to select that so from the home i'm going to select the home uh the select tool so i go ahead and click this i'm going to hide this one this poly mesh uh this poly 
face mesh. I'm going to hide this first for me to be able to select that door. So after I select, I'm going to right click this, hide. Okay, or select, then you can click the hide here. So now that uh, poly face mesh is hidden, okay, I, I can now select that particular door. So I'm going to select that door. I'm going to click this door. And then using the item tools, move, I'm going to move it outside. So where's my orbit? Okay. And then I'm going to hover my pointer to that yellow, uh, to that green gizmo. And then I'm going to place it here. Okay. Now to rotate the object, let me just move it here. To rotate the object, simple. You just click the rotate tool. There you go. Okay. You can... Uh, move it in uh, you can rotate it in three different location or three different planes you can rotate it along the red plane green plane or blue plane okay so in red plane you hover your pointer and then you can rotate the object okay okay so in blue plane so this is the direction so in green plane, so this is the direction, okay? And note that if you want to change the center of, low, uh, center of rotation of your object, you can actually hover your pointer. Let's say I'm going to hover it along the red gizmo, and then I'm going to drag it, so you'll be able to move. So this is now the center of rotation. So if I'm going to rotate again let's say on my blue plane so you will notice the center of rotation is now on that location okay so if i hover my pointer along the red gizmo so i can now rotate based on that center of rotation or base here okay all right so basically that's how you use the rotate uh, tool in navisworks now, I'm going to reset again the location or reset the item. So, right-click, uh, reset, uh, reset appearance. Okay. It doesn't reset totally. It's only the gizmo. So, uh, I just reset transform. Okay. So, it will return back to its location there. So, again, I'm going to move it. Okay. Hey, sorry, sorry. So, uh-huh, move, okay, All right, so after I move it, so the next tool that I'm going to show you is scale, or let us scale our object. So I'm going to select the scale tool, okay, and then again, you'll be able to see here three planes, red, green, and blue planes, okay? So if you're going to hover your pointer to the red plane what will happen is it will scale our object based on the blue gizmo and green gizmo it will scale proportionate okay in proportion with blue gizmo and red uh, green gizmo so if i'm going to scale the object based on the green plane it will scale the object proportion to the blue gizmo and yellow uh, i mean in red gizmo so if you're going to scale your object using the blue plane, so what will happen is it will scale your object proportionate based on the green gizmo and red gizmo, okay? Or if you want, you can just scale it based on one gizmo. So let's say based on the red gizmo, you hover your pointer, so you will notice you'll be able to scale it based on the red gizmo. Or you can scale it based on the blue gizmo. Okay, or you can scale it based on the green gizmo. Okay, right? And like what I have said, you can uh, scale it also based on the blue gizmo. So as you can see, it scales proportion to the blue and red, right? Blue and red, this one blue and green, okay? Right. So basically, that's how you use these three tools. The Move tool, Rotate tool, and Scale tool. Okay? So there you go. So hopefully you have learned something in this video. 
if you have any comments or suggestions just put it in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so once again this is rich thank you for watching and have a nice day